Thanks so much. Joining us now is John Coward. He's the Systems Director for the Aerospace Corporation. It supports NASA's commercial crew, the Human Landing System and Space Launch System at the Kennedy Space Center. Uh, John, it's good to see you. You could see Rachel's excitement. I can see that you have it as well. Hey, explain to our viewers, you were a part of NASA, now you work with NASA. Explain why this is such a big deal. Uh, that's pretty easy because, as you pointed out, uh, we have not flown off of U.S. soil since 2011 with a U.S. spacecraft. So uh, this is big. It, it's a next step for NASA. Uh, it's going to spur private industry, we hope. That's that's part of, of what we're doing here. I did commercial crew since about 2010, right before I retired from NASA and came to aerospace. And uh, it was some of the most exciting stuff I've ever done. I got to work primarily with the SpaceX kids. And I say that because they're all very much younger than me. And uh, but they Whenever I would go out to SpaceX, the, the vibe around there was a lot like I imagine the vibe was here at Kennedy Space Center back in the 1960s when we were going to the moon. You have a bunch of young people working very hard who don't know what they can't do yet. And, and so some of it looks the same. That is a historic launch pad that we see on the right of our screen. Uh, some of it looks different. These suits look very different to me as we watch the two astronauts uh, preparing for their flight. Uh, walk us through that. W what is similar? What will look and play out as Americans who remember who followed the space program uh, might recall, and what will be different? Well, obviously, what's going to look the same is hopefully a very smooth liftoff. Uh, you've seen lots of Falcon 9s fly before. We expect that to all look uh, pretty much the same way as it should. Uh, they'll get to the staging point. Second stage will take off, and then uh, they'll be in orbit once uh, that is done. So all that should look about the same. Of course, the crew walkout is going to look the same until the point when they don't get in the big Astro van, they get into the little Tesla and they take that right out to the launch pad. The space suits look different. These suits are designed just to, to keep you alive in case the capsule uh, decompresses for some reason. It's, it's there as a safety precaution. You will not see astronauts uh, wearing those space suits if they do an EVA or, you know, when we finally go back to the moon, which we're gonna do, uh, you won't see them wearing those suits either. But, and then when it comes back from space, after it's been up on the space station for a month, two, three, four, whatever they decide, um, when it comes back in, you're going to see parachutes. Now we've seen tradition, last time we saw parachutes on Apollo, there were only three, SpaceX is gonna have four. So that'll look a little bit different than the splash down the ocean. Uh, there will not be a giant aircraft carrier to pick them up. There'll be a smaller boat that SpaceX operates and they will go get the crew and bring them back in for us. And, and part of the idea here, John, in the minute we have left is that we're going to watch two NASA astronauts do this today. Uh, part of the test down the road a bit is uh, can you and I or somebody else uh, buy a ticket into space? How far along are we in that process? We're getting there. It, you got to get the price down. And that's what this is a step to help us go do. Uh, if you get the price down where average people like you and I can afford it, that'll be great. What we like to see, what, what the next step we think will be, is perhaps scientists taking their experiment instead of handing it off to an astronaut and letting them do it on the space station, they go up into space with their experiment. And then when something doesn't go exactly right and that scientist goes, wow, that's interesting, that's when real learning begins, when real science begins, when you, when you figure out why you were wrong in your hypothesis. I mean, we are, we are on the cusp of really great, the greatest events in space exploration have not happened yet. John Carrot, really appreciate your insights today. I can hear the excitement in your voice. We certainly hope this goes off safe and as planned. Uh, John, thanks so much, and thanks for I. joining us today as well. Again, that launch a bit this afternoon. Stay with CNN 4 at Brianna, Brianna Keeler picks up our coverage right now. Have a good afternoon.